Matthew 6, 6 13 How we should pray. But when you pray, enter into your room and, closing your door, pray to your Father who is in secret. And your Father, who sees in secret, will reward you publicly. And, praying, use not vain repetitions, as the Gentiles, who think that they will speak for many words. Do not be like them, because your Father knows what is necessary to you before you ask him. Therefore, pray thus, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. Matthew 6, 6 13. Dear brothers in Christ, it is with great joy that we are studying the Word of God together with you, in the presence of the Creator of heaven and earth, in the presence of the Lord Jesus, and in the presence of the Holy Spirit. The communication between intelligent beings is fundamental for the construction of a society that needs to interact knowledge with each other, to pass needs, to offer solutions, in order, it is necessary to interact, in all the areas of our life, so that the cultural, business and technology be understood and have perfect solutions through communication. This was discovered already in the most remote ages of human civilization, and felt the need to communicate ever more perfectly. Then words were created through certain sounds and as needed were emerging, also were created more words that have become part of a dialect or a language spoken by certain nations. All this was necessary for the man to arrive at the stage we arrived at. In the spiritual life it was no different either. So that a human being could communicate with God, he also went through the same stages that passed the dialects and the existing and modern languages that exist today. God through his spirit managed to communicate with a human race using spiritual communication that today it has also modernized a lot. However, went through also very rudimentary times and also began from ground zero. When God created the world, God spoke to Adam face to face. But, when man fell into sin, this communication was no longer possible. Then God did not speak to all people, God spoke only to the prophets. Because the prophets had developed the ability to understand the words of the Holy Spirit. But today, anyone can communicate with God, because this Communication is accessible to all people through the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit speaks to all people today. However, not all people are able to listen to them and are not interested in hearing it, or even talking to him. But it is already known to the whole world that it is possible to speak with God at any time and at any time, in any situation, and need, or of thanks. Whoever wants to communicate with God, the channel is open and God is very accessible to all who are interested in communicating with him. Jesus Christ said, pray without cessing. This phrase is a tip that you can talk to God all the time, if you want you can be in prayer 24 hours one day. In the text we are studying today, talk about prayer. And Jesus is willing to guide everyone, the most correct and right way to talk to God. He begins in verse 5 saying that he cannot pray to show others that he is praying and praying in a kindly way, like the hypocrites who prayed, standing in the synagogue, and others prayed at the corners of the streets to be seen by others. In verse 6 look at what he says, when you pray, enter your room, date your door, pray to your father who is in hidden, and your father who sees, secretly receives you. And when you pray, it is not necessary to keep repeating how many do, because they think that because they repeat much, they will be heard. It is not necessary to keep repeating, because your father knows what you need, before you talk to him. In verse 9 he gives a model of prayer, does not mean that it has to be always this model, but through this model, we understand that when we speak with God, we must open our heart, and say everything we are feeling, and have a candid conversation with the father. This is what we now have the freedom to do, open our hearts, speak with the Father, everything we need. 
Here he is giving them my father's prayer as a model. In the first place we must exalt the name of God. Hallowed be thy name. Secondly, we have to present the need to have the kingdom of God. Come to us in your kingdom. Thirdly, we must recognize that the will of God must prevail. Your will be done.